Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial, we'll be looking at uh, color filling. Let's say you have a plot and you want to show the area under a curve between a specified region or you want to fill the colors in a, in a particular plot indicating some kind of a profit or a loss or something like that. In these cases, filling uh, color fills are very helpful. So. For as an example, I have just gone with a simple sine and cosine of uh, angles between minus 2 pi and pi and I have actually plotted the sine curve over here and uh, I have the grid legend title and the, sh and the show option at the bottom so if I run this particular piece of code there we go, we get this nice sine curve in red color between minus 2 pi and plus 2 pi Fair enough And now, let's actually start with the fill Now, it's, it's fill uh, to g I enable the fill option is very simple what you have to do is just type plt and dot fill underscore between and this uh, function by default takes uh, three arguments uh, you have to specify the x values that is from which point to which point along the x axis you want the colors to be filled and then you specify specify some kind of a, a curve one a boundary curve to fill the colors and then you specify another boundary curve to fill the colors so your color that you would like to fill should be I mean if it's yes you give it over here another color color that you want to specify you give it over here so, I mean other curve you want to specify you give it over here okay so here th in this example is actually a condition wherein you're filling all the area above a specified curve so this will give you the area above the curve from a reference curve from a reference above the curve so this one will be the reference curve this is which will be ag above the curve of our choice which is s so if i run this particular piece of code there we go we have the sine curve sine curve and the reference curve which is actually my which is actually one which is actually in the top which is actually in the top and uh, this plot will fill the colors between the reference value at the top and the sine curve similarly what will happen if i if this reference line is actually passing through the sine curve for instance 0 if I keep the boundary like this so this will actually fill the sine curve in such a manner that uh, all the values that are lying above and below the sine curve above, above the curve lock between the two values will be filled instead of everything filling on the top or everything filling at the bottom this actually fills all the sine fills properly okay this might be something that we we'll usually will like it so instead of 0 if I put something like 0.5 if I point 0.5 the coloring pattern will be the same except that it will just pu it'll be pushed a little up like this so you can actually play around with the curves like this so this is actually uh, for the case wherein this is actually for the case wherein um, the reference line is actually passing through the curve or intersecting the curve at several points what if I have a case wherein the, ref wherein the reference curve I mean the reference curve is actually at the bottom well that's even simpler just it's just actually the repetition of this so if I put run this particular piece of code and there you go okay so uh, this will actually fill the colors of the curve from the from the reference curve I mean from the curve of your choice to the reference curve at the bottom now usually the idea behind usually the idea behind this you just give the x values the first boundary curve and the second boundary curve and the filling command will take automatically take care of it and now if proceeding further so let's suppose you have two curves suppose let's say you have two curves and you want to plot the curve, plot the area between these two curves for instance let's say let me en enable sine and cosine over here before looking at this plot let me just before looking at the fill let's, let's plot them up so we have two sine we have sine curves and cosine curves over here what do I just want to plot the area between these curves okay where that is actually you know locked between the sine and cosine regions how do I do that well it's fairly simple this, this is just an extension this is just an extension of this command so instead of the reference value you put cos and the, and, and the unsigned it will work just fine the un, one more thing one more thing is in all this time we looked at the colors I mean the color automatically chooses blue so if you want to change the color just put the color option and set up to a, some color that you prefer and then let's draw this line up draw this and there we go now it's done now all the region that is actually uh, placed between the sine and cosine are actually colored properly are actually colored properly okay and now what if I just uh, change this to reverse it do you think something might change let's see 
nothing much here the curves are very similar so there's not much of a not much of a change and this alpha over here is actually a measure of opacity so if I keep this to be 1 the color will be full dark if I keep this to be 0 it will be completely transparent so usually we in the fill plots it's better to have a make it a little bit translucent the color to be a little translucent so I kept it like 30 percent opacity so it's coming out okay if you want you can actually uh, change around with the opacity if you want okay and this is how you fill the uh, curves between two regions and suppose if you want to fill regions fill regions okay fill only a limited region but not everything else you can actually go with something like this instead of specifying the entire x axis with a variable you specify only a fraction of the x axis and then in the and then you also specify the equivalent uh, equivalent uh, location in the two curves of your choice so if i want to uh, you know fill the colors between the 20th index and the 41st index of x axis and the equivalent region in the sine and cosine I can do I can do like this, and thereby only a only a small fraction, only the required fraction uh, actually gets colored up. Actually gets colored up. Sweet. Suppose if uh, suppose if I want to you know do something like hey, um, I have this plot over here. I have this plot over here. Um, I want the, I want the region which is, region which is less than which is less than cosine to be in one color, greater than cosine to be in another color, something like that. Can you do that? Yes, you can actually do that. So what you're going to do is what you're going to do is we uh, you will use two kinds of fill plots over here, and we use what you call as the var option. This var option is simple. So you write the you write the syntax and set the color and alpha as per your choice, and in this var option over here, you just give an expression. You give an expression uh, determining what kind, what should be the condition. So if you put something like c greater than s, okay, let's comment this out for a while. If you, if you put the expression as c greater than or equal to s, only in those regions where the cosine value of the curve is greater than the sine value of the curve, those regions gets colored up. Those regions get colored up. Now all other regions won't be colored up. So, for instance, if I run this particular plot, clearly, if you can see, only in those regions where the cosine curve is actually has a higher magnitude than the sine curve, the region is actually colored. Okay, the region is actually colored. In all other regions, it is, all other regions it is not colored. But it's not actually colored. And similarly, uh, similarly. If you want uh, the regions where the cosine curve is actually less than the less than the sine, and you want that to be colored, you can actually use this var option too. And similar, and over here, in the, in the regions where the sine curve is actually greater than the cosine curve, only that region is colored up. So, so if I enable both these options, you will get an alternate color pattern. Check this out. You get an alternate coloring pattern, and it's coming out to be perfectly neat. And sometimes what will happen is that uh, let me zoom this piece of code over here. Sometimes, if you have what ha what will happen is that um, a small bits of pieces of the co piece of the plot uh, may not get colored over here. May not get colored like this. The reason is because x values are not actually present in these regions, so the program does not know, uh, but it does not uh, give uh, is not able to fill the colors over here. Okay, so in those kind of cases. Those kind of cases, what might be really helpful is having this interpolate option. Having this interpolate option. So if you enable the interpolate option over here, in in, in the interpolate option over where is it? Yeah, if you interpolate the option over here and set this to be true, what will happen is that even in those regions where the interp where the colors did not get filled properly, they'll get filled. Now if you see over here it's not it's perfectly filled and if I were to zoom in this particular region which was not filled earlier, no matter how far I zoom in, it's perfectly filled. There we go. And this is actually a, a good uh, con good conclusion for this is actually a good conclusion uh, for filling colors. With this, you'll be able to do almost all kinds of color filling that you might require. The only thing is that if you want to mask a particular region, that is something I'm not going to talk in this video. So if you want to mask some region, you just have to do some kind of a setting over here in the where. And if you do that, it'll, it'll just work. It'll work just fine. And that's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Till then, take care.